Hey guys, welcome back to the Afternoon Club. My name is Carrie and this is my fourth episode and I am super chuffed to be back teaching you guys more about photography. So as a photographer, most of my work involves taking photos of people. And a lot of the time, one of my favorite things to do is taking portraits. Now, I'm really lucky I get to meet so many different people with work. I work with artists and musicians and people from all different jobs, businessmen and women, everybody and all sorts. And I love it because I get to hear all their different stories and I get to take great portraits of them. So what I thought today would be a really fun challenge would be to get you guys taking some portraits. Now I know at this time of year you probably would be getting your school portrait taken uh, but because we're not in school at the minute obviously you won't get to do that. So I thought what we could do is learn a little bit about portraits and then get you guys to take a portrait of yourself. Now you've probably taken selfies before but this is going to be slightly different. This is a self portrait. The idea is still the same that you take it and you're in it but there's a few things that just make a self portrait a little bit different from a selfie. First off you don't need to take it at arm's length. It's not about holding the camera. It's about setting it up on a timer and I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that. Secondly, you're gonna pay more attention to your background and your lighting. So a selfie is kind of just an in the moment snapshot just to keep a wee memory. And that's great because they're really important to have. But a self portrait involves just a little bit more thought and a little bit more planning about what your portrait is actually gonna be. Now, you can put your school uniform on for this if you want and make it an actual school portrait. You can do it in fancy dress, you can wear your favourite outfit, I don't mind at all. But the things that are really important are setting up your tablet or your smartphone and then looking at how you pose. So first off, whenever you're setting up your tablet or your smartphone, you're going to put it into timer mode. Timers are really handy because they allow you to take a photo and then they give you a little bit of time to run around and be in the photo as well. So you can use these for family photos, self portraits, absolutely all sorts. If you're on an iPhone or an iPad, it's super easy. There's a little icon that looks like a clock. When you open the camera, you're going to tap that and you're going to set it to 10 seconds. If you're on an Android phone, it's slightly different. You'll go into your camera again and this time settings. You should see a little thing that says timer or self timer. Again, set that to 10 seconds. Now some Huawei phones, certain mobile devices, have an audio control as well that you can turn on and it will take a photo as soon as you say cheese or if you smile as well, there's an auto smile detect. So look out for these things, figure out what way is gonna be the easiest to do it. And once you have your camera all set, you're gonna set it up where you want to take your portrait. And this is where you're gonna think about what makes a really good portrait. So first off, you're gonna think about what you're wearing. What colors are you gonna put on? What way are you gonna look? Do you wanna to look towards the light so it's nice and bright on your face? Or do you want it to be a little bit darker? You can pick every single thing about this. I find for portraits, nice soft light on the face is a really good idea. So whatever way you're sitting, try to face towards the light. Whatever color you're wearing, think about your background in regards to that. So here you'll see I've picked a really super bright colorful background because I love colors. But for my portrait, because I want you guys to look a little bit more at me and little pops of color with my ridiculously red hair, um, I've gone for a dark green in my living room. So have a look around your house and decide what would be the perfect place to take your photo. When you've got that picked, then think about your pose. When you're taking a photo of yourself or anyone else, you want to look relaxed, you want it to be fun, you want a nice natural smile. So I find telling people silly jokes is a good way to do it. So just think about something funny and that should make you laugh and that should get you a smile for your portrait. When you've got it set up, you're gonna to wanna to get a toy or a volunteer in there to help. The reason being is you wanna focus on them. So tapping on the screen and getting your light right by sliding your little icon up and down and also you want to see where the light is hitting them. So a toy is a really good stand-in or another person just to get exactly where you're going to be in the photo bang on. You don't need any fancy equipment to take a self-portrait. I've just propped my iPad up on a couple of books as you can see here. Some of you guys might have tripods or little stands for them but you don't need it. Just be really careful when you're setting it up to tilt the phone or the iPad back a little bit so it rests really steadily against the book and there's no chance of it falling over. Once you're happy you're literally going to tap the button to take a photo. You're going to see a little countdown of 10 seconds and that gives you time to run in there and get in to be in your photographs. So you've got to move pretty fast. You'll probably find you'll have to take more than one to get one you're happy with, but have fun with it, play with it. And it's a little bit of exercise as well because you've got to race that camera. So once you've got your self-portrait, 
make sure to turn the timer mode off on your camera because you're going to need to use your camera again for a slightly different version of this challenge and you don't want us to have a 10 second delay or your arms are going to get really tired waiting on it to take a photo. Now we've got our self-portrait, I want you to do another self-portrait, but this time there's a twist, you're not going to be in it. So it's a selfless selfie. The idea being that you're going to find lots of things around the house that tell the story of you and take a photograph of those. So if I looked at this photo, I would learn loads about you, but I wouldn't actually see your face. It's a really fun way to get you doing a type of photography that we photographers call flat lay, which is just where we take products and lay them out flat on a background. Now in mine, I've picked some family photos, photos of my little girl, photos of my friends. I've got Scrabble blocks in there that spell my name because I love playing Scrabble. And I've got the cameras to do with photography. Also some favorite songs and records and a favorite movie. So a nice little mixture of different things. But you could pick anything you like. It could be favorite toys, favorite colors, favorite outfits, favorite food. Absolutely anything is good for this. And what you want to do is pick a background that's nice and plain so you can see everything clearly. So you'll see in this one, I've put everything on a nice wooden table, but you could use a blanket, your bedspread, the floor, anything you like. When you're laying this out, you have to really think about where everything is going. So set everything out and then move it around and play with it. And whenever you're taking your photographs, you're just going to hold the camera directly above, nice and flat, so that everything can be seen really evenly and everything is really clearly laid out. If you're not happy, try lots of different variations and try wide and tall as well to see what looks different because you'll see you get a big change in them and maybe one will look better than the other. Remember just to check your light and hopefully you can do lots of different versions of these to tell loads of fun stories about you. that is some hints and tips for taking great portraits and I really hope you've enjoyed it. Remember all those things we talked about in your self-portrait, so the light on your face, focusing on you, looking nice and relaxed and smiling and having a really nice background. You can use all of those to take photos of other people too. So whoever else is in the house with you, maybe family members, siblings, pets, toys, you can rub them in and start taking great portraits as well. Don't be afraid to make people laugh behind the camera, I always like nice kind of cheery portraits. And the thing about portraits is if you get a nice one, it makes someone feel really good about themselves. And that's a really big part of it, is making someone smile. That's what I love about photography. You may have heard people talk about things like airbrushing and Photoshop that they do in the fashion industry to make people look different in photos, but you don't want to be doing any of that. Be proud of who you are, be proud of what you look like. And whenever you take a photo, be happy in who you are and that will shine through and your photo will look absolutely great because you'll be beaming with confidence and you'll be beaming with happiness. You should have a lovely self-portrait now, and trust me, you can get some serious brownie points if you print that out, get that in a wee frame for a wee Christmas, birthday present, Mother's or Father's Day, any of these, your family and friends will absolutely love it. And you've also got your selfless selfie. Because we maybe can't be together with our friends at the moment, take your selfie and challenge a friend to do the same, and then send them yours, you can do a swap. And you might learn something new about each other because you'll see all the things that they've picked in their photo and it gives you a really good chance to have something fun to talk about when you're able to meet up again. So in the meantime, I hope you keep snapping. I hope you practice all the things we've talked about so far because you can use all of them in all different types of photography and I really hope you guys are loving it. So get out there, get snapping and I will see you soon. Bye.